Buenos dias, mis amigos. Okay, so today I'm just going to go over comments and um, something that's been brought to my attention that I, I guess I didn't really put a lot of thought into. And so like this morning, a couple of times I got some notifications and then I look and I notice that there was no new um, comment here and, and it happened twice this morning and I'm like well how why in the world am I getting notifications and there's not a new comment it doesn't make any sense to me and I still don't really understand it but the thing that I think is going on is that when somebody uh, comments on one of my videos it's going to show in the notifications but it's not going to show here which is weird but that's what I have to believe and I think what has to happen is I have to comment under each video and then it'll show up here that's what I think so I'm gonna give that a try and I've just been trying to give people the freedom to just comment and then uh, perhaps I'll make a video talking about that comment right and but you know what I noticed here I was scrolling through these comments and I got you know like 13 days ago I think it was so if I could find a comment from 13 days ago and I could show you what I'm talking about all right this might this might be it here about 12 days ago 11 days ago 13 days ago by Tiger Dan and so he and then uh, these guys responded and so I got notifications up here but when I clicked on the notification uh, well I guess I didn't try this 13 days ago it's still not showing up here right so I, I don't know why in the world YouTube does this goofy stuff but whatever alright so I notice here that detector um, amateur detect am detector amateur says hi Tiger Dan how is the flat earth research going I used to see your videos until you stopped suddenly and called it a lie what happened smiley face and then Tiger Dan 925 says hi I got too much hassle at the time from British newspapers and people on YouTube claiming to be me with fake accounts saying crazy stuff I got hated by Christians pastor Sanderson posted half hour rants at me calling me a bunch of names because I posted Bible videos with 75 verses that prove a flat earth in a way he could never do so I embarrassed a lot of people I was hated by flat earthers and, and hated by ball earthers so I burned down the channel and left the internet thank you for remembering me though oh and I don't believe ball earth theory and again he says I, re I reply but YouTube sometimes blocks my replies and then I just comment letting him know that his replies are not blocked that I you know I could see these it just it, it the problem isn't seeing them it, the problem is um, finding them right alright so you know obviously uh, you know the issue with Tiger Dan is uh, he does not believe Paul and by not believing Paul you don't believe the Bible at all, all right, so that's a big problem and um, it, it's interesting to me it says people on YouTube claiming to be me with fake accounts well this could be a fake account this could be a fake account pretending to be Tiger, Tiger Dan I mean you go to his channel and he's got no video so there's no way to know anything and it doesn't matter anyway this particular account 
when you say you don't believe Paul, you're saying that you don't believe in the Bible at all. All right, so enough of that. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is from now on just comment on every video. Or I'm sorry, I comment on every comment. Reply to every comment. Does that make sense? Alright, so for example, I uh, replied to this guy, Jeffrey Pete, or Jeffrey Petrie. Alright, and he says, I'm not going to watch the video, but I am going to let people know what God, that God says in the King James Bible. It's not a version, it's the Bible. Homosexuality is abomination. And God isn't homophobic, he's the Almighty. There, <laughs> there are no homosexuals of any kind. That means sex changed male to female, vice versa, trans by pan in the kingdom of heaven. In death you'll be in hell for eternity. That's the facts. And those causing children to believe it's okay to be gay, boy be girl, girl be boy. Bible says Matthew 18 verse 6 but whosoever cause one of these little ones who believes in me to sin it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck so I'm just gonna confirm but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. All right, so he's a little bit off on his um, on his recollection recollection of what that verse says but nevertheless that the point still stands you ought not to be teaching children it's okay to sin and you should never ever imply that homosexuality is not a sin it clearly is the Old Testament New Testament make that very clear you know there's more to life than sex let me just say that, okay? But I appreciate the comment. And uh, the, the, in my reply, I just make the point that, hey, you know, not only is there not going to be gay sex in the life to come hereafter, but there's not going to be any sex at all. The life to come hereafter is going to be much greater than sex. And you think about what sex does to this world. It only causes... It, it does cause joy, but you think about all the pain and suffering that is caused also because people are having sex. You know, it's not just uh, adultery, but it's, um, you know, um, it, it's everything. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. It's everything that, that is involved with the, re the results of sex. And so we put our hope in a world that is greater than this world all right all right so last days 2024 says he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house he that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight right and so uh, again um, the world that we're in is only increasing in deceit Right. You think about, oh, how advanced we've become and how much more knowledge there is. Well, there's, with all that knowledge that is provided for us, the deception is worse than it's ever been. All right, but take comfort knowing that the spirit of truth is with us. We can know the truth. We just have to overlook the lies which are great in the world today all right so I so if uh, now if somebody replied to this comment here 
then I wouldn't, you know, if like two weeks from now somebody replies to this, I won't see that reply. Strangely enough. And somebody might reply with a very interesting thought, and I'll miss it. But I think if I reply, then somebody else's reply will show up here, I think. That's what I think. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. All right, I could be wrong. But let's give it a shot here, and I'll just say, you yeah, know, try to keep it short, exactly. Oops. See, I don't know how to spell. All right. And Revelation 13, verse 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Right, exactly. Now, I, you know, when you post Bible verses, I appreciate that. I want to encourage you to add a thought to give, a, you know, a, an explanation for why you're posting that thought. And so I'll just keep it simple and saying, exactly, exactly. Great video, brother. Sad that the man is not teaching what the Bible says. Hopefully they start to read it themselves. That's right. Oh, hey, I can just do this. I hope so, too. Yes, I... How about a... Yes, I agree. How about that? Oh. YouTube is telling me what to say. How great is that? Thanks. I like the long videos. Glad you like them. How about that? All right, so, um, you know, I've heard people say, well, you got to keep your video shorter. Well, the problem, you know, and I want to do that, and I'm going to try to do that more often. The problem is that I want to really go into detail for the things that I teach, just to make it easy to understand. All right, making a statement, making a bold statement, uh I know that's appealing, but sometimes, I mean, that's why we're in the state that we're in, because people aren't, you know, reading their Bible, and they're not thinking about the things that they are teaching. And so I want to go into detail and make things simple and easy to understand. And, you know, like with uh, Revelation 20, you see people just, oh, thousand years of, uh, you know, Jesus reigning and ruling on earth after he comes. When that gets repeated so often, people start to believe it. But then, so here I come, and I want to break down Revelation 20 and show you that Jesus does not reign a thousand years, and that Revelation 20 makes no mention of Jesus reigning a thousand years. All right, and so I want to go over uh, line by line and then. Uh, draw parallels or connect dots with other verses in the Bible that should hammer that point home that Jesus does not reign a thousand years he reigns forever the Bible's clear on that so uh, there's a necessity I think to to probably do both to do short videos and long videos and uh, you know I have a tendency to talk too much really All right, grasshopper for he is not a Jew which is one outwardly Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. That's why they hate Paul. And, and uh, she's probably right. That's probably why. But the question I posed to Dan was from Romans chapter 1. Uh, regarding homosexuality is that why you don't like Paul I just asked the question do you do you hate Paul because he is it obviously he teaches against homosexuality or you know is grasshopper right either one's a great question do you hate Paul because he teaches that um, he, essentially that people that are born with a dark hair and a big nose they are not the children of God
All right. I apologize for that. I, I assume that's loud, but um, you know, the it it's those of us that are born of the Spirit of God. We are the children of God, and so this is in reference to you know he is not a Jew, meaning a child of God, right? He is not a child of God just because he's born with dark hair and a big nose. He's a child of God because he's born of God. All right, and whose circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. And of course, uh, real quickly, I'll go. You know, talking about circumcision, getting your PP cut off—that's not circumcision. That's not the true circumcision. And even in the Old Testament, this is. Um, emphasized and that people still don't understand it even today all right in Deuteronomy um, 10 verse 16 it says circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart all right it's not talking about circumcising the foreskin of your pee pee it talks about circumcising the foreskin of your heart that's the true circumcision and it's supported here in Romans chapter 2 verses 28 and 29 and again it's not a version it's the Bible the King James Bible okay All right, so thanks for that let me reply um, let me just say you're probably right okay thank you for that and then Wedden 105-1919 says, I think the part where Jesus comes with his army in Revelation 19 is where they get the idea believers come back with him. That's my guess. Yeah, and that's all we can do is guess what the <laughs> deceiver is thinking, right? But when we actually read the Bible and believe what the Bible says, we don't have to guess it tells us plainly all right revelation 19 19 and i saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gather together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army okay so i did a video um on that particular comment and i show very plainly that this is talking about the same thing uh, what we read in revelation 20 is talking about the same thing we're reading in Revelation 19. All right. In fact, there's numerous mentions of the actual end of the world here in Revelation 19. But then we can draw a parallel with what we see here in Revelation 19:19 19, 19, with what we read in Revelation 20 when he compasses the camp of the saints about. All right. This is the same thing. This is not a different end of the world. There are not. 57 different ends of the world there is one end of the world all you have to do is be able to connect the dots and these guys you know you sometimes wonder well they're di they're just getting it wrong and they're they're learning and they're growing and and then there are sometimes when these people are just straight up liars all right and anybody that teaches multiple ends of the world they're just straight up liars and you can't we really can't tell are they saved are they not saved we can't know that for sure but we can know that these guys are straight up lying when what they teach contradicts the simple scripture all right and this idea that well this is the end of the world here in revelation 19 and then we got another end of the world in revelation 20 that's not even you're not even being honest with yourself when you teach that and it just amazes me it really does I, I get it man it's fantastic it's you know crazy it's outlandish it's incredible they make Hollywood movies about it that's how amazing the idea is the how spectacular that idea is the problem is it's not true it seems like I mean we are it seems like it is it, that we're living in a world where people don't care about the truth all they care about is the, the big explosions on TV you know the the crazy stuff the 
wild and crazy stuff that they see on TV. That's what they care about. They don't care about the truth. And this is evidence of it. If you're reading Revelation 19, verse 19, and you're unable to connect the dot between that and what we read in Revelation 20, verse 8, if you're not able to connect the dots there, or verse 9, same thing, verses 8 and 9, and you think this is two different events, man, you don't care about the truth at all. You, you didn't even read the Bible. You listened to somebody talk about it. And you believed what they said. And you're not believing what the Bible says at all. So anyways, it drives me nuts, man. And I, I have to be strong about it. I have to be. I have to be strong. And just... I have to be strong that the Bible is true. I have to be. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, so how do I respond to this? I think we're. I think the part where. Okay. So I, you're probably right. I think is a good response, right? So now, if anybody comments and says wedding 105 1919 you're full of horse manure well then I'll be able to see that hopefully it, I could be wrong I might be wasting my time here YouTube is so doggone goofy it's hard to tell man and if you know better than I do please let me know I'm just trying to figure this stuff out I see a lot of controlled opposition it's truly scary. Jay, check out G2G Poncho Pete. Please, if you haven't, thank you. Pete is not controlled oppo. And then Karen Ann Lopez says, besides the fact it is a biological woman, Are you talking about this guy? This is not a woman. This is pointy finger. That's I'm not sure what in the world are you talking about. All right, this is the guy. When Poncho. What in the world? This, this is, doesn't seem to be related to the Bible or anything. What's this here? Oh, so this isn't his main channel. Let's go to his main channel. Let's see the main. I want to see the main thing, man. Let's see what the main thing's all about here. It looks like the main thing's all about Satan there. Am I looking at that right? What in the world is this? This isn't related to the Bible at all. What is going on here? I don't know what this is about. I see the triangles. Are they reptilians or something? I don't know what's going on, Karen Ann Lopez. What are we looking at here? I, I, okay. I don't know what's going on here. You got you got a picture of a man, a pregnant man. You know that's photoshopped, right? Well, what is this uh, reptile woman? Is this uh, you know that reptilian stuff? I, what's going on here? 
Are these are these people lizards? Is that what? Is that the I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so who cares? I'm trying to figure this out, and this is. If I was on radio right now, this would be very bad. Radio, what in the world? I don't know what is this here this almost looks like Biological males have a vertical elbow resting angle. Biological females have a more acute elbow resting. All right, so I see what's going on. All right, okay, and then ah, uh, okay, all right, I got, I got you. Okay, so are you kidding me? Uh, so I, I'm guessing, oh my goodness, I, th I feel like I wasted a bunch of time there. All right, Karen, all right, so let me just state this, that I, I don't want people, I, I don't think this is a good thing. I don't want people looking at men and imagining imagining them to be a woman all right and you ought not to be looking at a woman and imagining her to be a man that's entirely inappropriate okay that's it's inappropriate it has not you're wasting your time this has nothing to do with the Bible that this is not loving one another and this is not good for the soul, nor is it good for the spirit, in any sort of way, whatsoever. You want to, if you're fascinated with uh, deception that's in the world, well, first learn the truth that is in the Bible. If you learn the truth, then you'll be able to see clear all the deception that is in the world. This stuff here, this doesn't mean nothing. This is meaningless stuff. And you ought not, again, you ought not be looking at these people like this woman here. Oops. That woman there. You ought not, you ought not to be looking at her as though she was a, a man. All right. And the same thing with Michelle Obama. You ought not to look at her, her uh, wee wees and imagine that's a man. That, that, that just ain't right. It's not appropriate, and it's not right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You, you, I mean, you, what? You, you know, for a female, are you looking at a woman and imagining that woman to be a man? Why? Why would you do that? It's perverse. At the same time, like for a man, you ought not to be looking at another man and imagining that man's actually a woman that's weird that's perverse that that doesn't do you any good at all there's nothing good about that and in specifically in regards to a woman you ought not to ever say oh that's a man that's inappropriate 
That's inappropriate. And I don't want anything to do with that stuff. And this is not related to the Bible at all. So, uh, I would strongly discourage you from giving this any time, any thought at all. And maybe this is somehow I'm misunderstanding this comment here, but I don't want anything to do with people that are looking at women and imagining them to be a man. That's wrong, in my opinion. Inappropriate. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Uh, I thanks, thanks for the comment, though. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to uh, express my opinion that I believe this is inappropriate. All right, thank you for giving me that opportunity to speak out against this sort of thing. Okay, it, whether it's good or whether it's bad, I want to encourage people to comment. And I'm going to start, until I figure this thing out, I'm going to start replying to every comment here. Because I don't want to miss, you know, Tiger Dan coming out two weeks later. What, what happened, Tiger Dan? You just get out of jail or something? You know, it took you what, 13 days to respond to that. Where are we at here? So, let's see, 13 days ago, and then uh, somebody uh, comments, and then, oh, Tiger Dan just got out of jail. Now he's able to comment. Well, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Tiger Dan probably not sitting in jail. He probably just waited, saw somebody comment on his video. Okay, so I apologize. I'm probably wrong about that. You know, it looks like he commented 12 days ago. I'm not sure that... Did I see these comments here from 11 days ago? Oh, so he's comparing... I think I did. Joseph Smith uh, had the false... Had the same false conversion as Paul? No, he didn't. It was not even close, man. Not even close. All right, so Jesus Christ appeared to Paul be because Paul was persecuting Jesus' people. Paul was a Jew crucifying um, God's people. And Jesus appeared to Paul specifically. The Joseph Smith was a 20-year-old pervert who slept with a lot of women, had, who had many wives. He was a deranged lunatic, a little kid who created this religion. And I believe strongly that there were people that approached Joseph Smith who helped him start this new religion in the United States. And I think a big clue to that is given in Revelation 17. All right, and when we read about the great whore and the mother of a harlots, the mother of harlots, think about that. Now, this idea that, look, I'm not going to stand for that. You're telling people that you can't trust Paul. There's nothing Paul teaches that contradicts anything in the Bible. So why would you even why would you even have a problem? And you lied right here. You're it, this right there there is to say Paul never met Jesus. That tells me you yeah, have no idea what the Bible says. You're just making stuff up. It's weird. Why would you strongly oppose Paul and then say something that anybody that has read the Bible clearly knows that Paul met Jesus? Yeah. Why make a fool out of yourself, man? Why make a fool out of yourself unless you never read the Bible? and you're listening to what another man tells you. You're putting all your trust into another man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I mean, 
come on, man. I want to encourage you all. To, look, I'm telling you. The Bible is from God. It is the perfect, pure Word of God. And just as we read here in Proverbs... Uh, uh, oh, what's it say here? I need to read the Bible too. Not just you, but I have to read the Bible too. Uh, let's see. I don't know. The Bible says something about something. Hell, here it is. Uh, Proverbs 30, verse 5. Every word of God is pure. Now, I'm not. I'm telling you. Listen. When it says every word of God is pure, it means every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. You can trust the Word of God. You can trust the Bible that you hold in your hands so long as it's a King James Bible. The King James Bible is the perfect pure Word of God in the English language. Alright? And that's important. If you're reading, you know, ESV, NIV, you know, NASB, whatever, all these popular modern versions, uh, you, you, there's no way you can look at those, like the NIV, for example, there's no way you can look at your NIV and believe it's from God because it's far from perfect. There are omissions, there are contradictions, and it's there's that that's not the word of God. Uh, Jesus is very clear about this, and I've gone over this uh, recently, but I'll go over it again in Psalm 34, verse 20. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. And this is talking about Jesus. This is talking about the Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God in heaven, and the Bible is the Word of God on earth. And so when we read Jesus Christ himself say, For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled a bone of him shall not be broken all right what's this in reference to the word of god the word of god cannot be broken in john chapter 10 if you call them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken the word of god cannot be broken all right but nevertheless we have many deceivers in the world today and they do corrupt the Word of God and they do have but uh, several Bible versions uh, all the Bible versions in the English language all the modern Bible versions in the English language today are corrupt alright and so there's no way that these corrupt Bibles can be the Word of God. Alright? So, I've gotten in, into that many, many times here. And to show you just blatantly how much they lie. We'll go to ESV. Uh, for we are not like so many peddlers of the Word of God, but that's exactly what they do. They peddle their Bible versions. And they change their Bible versions to abide by copyright laws in order to sell their Bible version, to make the money. The, and the love of money is the root of all evil. They're doing it for money. They're changing the Word of God so that they can make money. And then they flat out lie in their own Bible versions. The NASB, for we are not like the many peddling the Word of God, yet that's exactly what they do. They change their... Bible version just enough so that they can abide by copyright laws and sell their Bible versions. They peddle their Bible versions to make money. Again, the love of money is the root 
of all evil. Okay, that's all I got for today. Again, let me just say that if you uh, understand what the problem I'm having, you know, my notifications aren't giving me the, you know, when somebody comments on, under one of my videos, I think because I didn't reply to that video, I, I don't think I'm seeing it here in the notifications. If you know what I'm talking about and you have an answer, a simple answer for me, please let me know. All right, that's it for today. Have a good day. Enjoy this day, huh?